Hi guys. So, okay, this is going to be part one of my, uh, my experience with postpartum psychosis. Um, so my son was born in October and, uh, he was born early. I was in the hospital for two days before the decision to have him taken out, uh, by C-section was chosen. Um, then, uh, we were in the NICU for a week where I didn't really sleep much um, just because of the noise and uh, just being worried and learning how to breastfeed and everything. Um, that alone was enough to just make me awake all the time. And then we went home and when we went home um, I just remember on how I started to clean everything obsessively thinking that I had to clean things to the point where it was almost as if just like this obsessive compulsion of I had to clean um, like as if my house was never cleaned before although it was obviously um, and then uh, and I would do this in between the three hour feedings which obviously did not leave me much time to sleep. Um, but then, and I would cry because I thought, is this what my life was gonna be like? And I just thought, okay, well, you know, yeah, I was a bit sad. And then thinking, you know, this is daunting, a lot of work and everything, um, but never thinking maybe stop cleaning in between feedings. But anyways, um, so that was that. And then, uh, so, um, I started thinking that stuff that I had, I had too much stuff. I needed to make room, like, so I was getting rid of clothes, I was getting rid of, uh, stuff in the house that I thought didn't matter anymore. So I was getting rid of, um, that kind of stuff. So basically purging clothes and stuff. Sorry, I know it's just a little weird trying to talk about this. Um, probably why there's not much explain about postpartum psychosis. Um, it can happen quite quickly. Uh, mine happened to happen over a slow progression and that. Um, so then uh, after two months went by, I decided to stop breastfeeding and um, my sleep began to increase slightly and my anxiety of everything was a little bit less but I was still worrying about the numbers of how many meals was he getting was he eating enough um, and was I doing everything good enough like I guess that was the biggest thing I kept thinking was oh my god I could do better I should do better and everything um, but, uh, and then the holidays began, and um, I remember on how I just wanted to say Christmas and that, um, which is usually not me because I usually like to decorate and I have cats and I even put up stockings for my cats. So that goes to show you how much I like to decorate for Christmas. But this year, this last year there, I, I just, I didn't want to. I wanted to say, you know what? put it on hold let's just skip Christmas let's skip the New Year's let's just forget all about it but of course obviously I can't do that um so the holidays came and went uh with periods of okay a little bit better a little bit worse than that um we did end up going to the hospital partway in December because of realizing that I was just anxious. I was always anxious, worried about that something might be wrong with him. He might be sick. There could be anything. Uh, I thought he had a cold sore, which obviously he didn't. And that um, just whatever I could think that could happen or anything, I was just worried about that. I was so worried of um, SIDS and that. And... Uh, so, uh, yeah, and after being in the hospital 
uh, for that appointment, or not appointment, oh my goodness. After that, um, the doctors basically said, you know, we, we're not really seeing anything, but, you know, just follow up with your doc family doctor. Don't stay quiet. Just, you know, if things are bothering you, talk to her. And so you know, we made appointments. Um, but in between those appointments, I would still be anxious uh, and that. And um, I do want to make this a part two. So I'm trying to um, not say too much about what happened and that um but just that what i'm gonna leave it at is that i basically after the new year's i started to not sleeping again and that um so basically i guess this first part of this video is trying to say that for postpartum psychosis or depression um and that is to if you start noticing a family member or a friend who is either cleaning obsessively to the point where it's more than what would normally happen. Like, um, I'm talking about like taking cabinets apart and organizing the spice cabinet or something. Uh, or trying to pull out the refrigerator and want to clean that because, you know, who does that every, like, so many months or something but like wanting to do that kind of stuff or if say they're not attaching to the to the, the baby um where they're just they're more concerned with the cleaning rather than connecting with their child that's that's more i guess the the type of obsessiveness i want to try to point out and that um and the uh just the crying I was I was crying. I remember crying a lot, and uh, and I just thought maybe it was. At first, I thought it was that I was sad because I wasn't. I chose to stop breastfeeding, and I found that very very difficult myself personally. I mean, I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't breastfeed. Blah blah blah. That's not at all what this video is about. Um, but basically, just that uh, I really took it hard, and. Um, so if you're noticing the depression the sadness the not connecting the um withdrawnness um those are the things that i basically uh in my first part want to explain about on how i was becoming um i will hopefully come up and explain the second half um of it of postpartum of the my experience with postpartum psychosis and depression sleep deprivation and that um wow so yeah um if you want more videos and to see more of my life how it is and that um please subscribe at the bottom hit the little bell if you want to get notifications whenever i upload a new video um and yeah so that's it I really hope this video kind of helped in some sort of a way. I'm sorry if it felt like I was stalling or um, pausing. It's just, I guess it's kind of a hard subject to talk about because, I mean, once I get into the nitty-gritty part, it's, yeah. Anyways, wow. Okay, um, so... <laughs> With that, um, I hope to also upload some more uh, Weight Watcher videos and how my week had gone when it comes to the next weigh-in and everything and some more uh, uh, food finds and everything. So look forward to seeing those in the future and uh, I hope you enjoyed. All right, thanks. Bye.